coming back from his touchy-feely convention. I've had to do double duty since he's been away. It's a spiritual retreat, and Marion said he'll be back when his spirit finds the path to destiny. Spiritual retreat, my eye. They're probably in Vegas shooting craps and buying drinks for a showgirl named Siliconia. <laughs> There's many responses to that, but I'm going to go with, get the hell over it, Max. Hey. Tony. Hey, Marion. Oh. Ten days in the wilderness. We slept on the ground, lived off the land. By the fifth day, I loved all God's creatures. By the tenth, I even loved Max. Come here. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's great. Why don't you go hug some soap on a rope? <laughs> don't pay him no mind, Marion. Close your eyes. I got a surprise for you. Don't look now. Keep your eyes closed. Surprise! Oh, I finished decorating your new office. Tony, I don't know what to say. I do. Who paid for all this? <laughs> the clinic. Well, he doesn't need all of this. He lives off the land, sleeps on the ground. We could have just run a phone line out to the parking lot. Max, <laughs> I learned an important phrase during my retreat. Kachenga Alelo. And just what does that mean? Get the hell over it. <laughs> No problem. I even bought a little decoration of my own. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, this retreat has really awakened me. I sat on a rock for three hours when my inner spirit spoke to me. After ten days with no solid food or indoor plumbing, I'd be hearing voices too. <laughs> no, it was a personal revelation. It said my path may not be as narrow in the future. What does that mean? I don't know. My spirit's deep like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new private line. Well, who could be calling? No one has the number yet. Kara, this is Sparkle. Your hairstylist. <laughs> oh, I just love saying stylist. So many S's. Anyway, you left your scarf in the salon again. Can I have it? It's so like butter. <laughs> <laughs> got a scammer? Now call me, all right? <laughs> Looks like I got somebody's old phone number. What are you going to do? Well, I ain't calling Sparkle back. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Marion's new office gave me an idea. What, you're gonna take money directly from my wallet next time? <laughs> no, a grand opening. But we've been open for six months. Well, but you've never been grand. <laughs> well, come on, Max. It'll be fun. Besides, it might attract some business. All right, but you can't spend any more than $200. $200? That ain't enough to hire a hitman to take you out. <laughs> yeah, I looked into it. <laughs> Dr. Stanton, I understand. It's hard for men to understand this, but, see, it, it costs money to have fun. Hey, you. Hey, boo. Hey, breakfast. Stay down. I missed you last night, Henry. Me, too. Don't worry. Look, 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 look we, we said we were going to refrain from physical contact while I'm on duty. I got in trouble three times this week for being late. I'm sorry. Strictly business. You got any mail? Just these letters. They need stamps. <laughs> you got anything for me? Just this. People just wave at the mailman. Let me get messages for this Kara woman all day. See, there's a couple more. Uh, Kara, uh, thanks again for your donation to Guide Dogs for the Blind. Isn't she something? Uh, if you're serious about helping us train puppies, let me know. Spike, release. <laughs> I sure hope Spike is a dog. <laughs> Kara's something, isn't she? I can tell by a message that she's a writer, she works out regularly. 
Marion, you getting a little phone Jones going on here? <laughs> no, get real. I just think she seems like a nice person. Here's a new message. Message to Kara from Kara. End of poem, blue. My soul is blue, like a lover's bright smile. Aqua, as deep ocean miles. Indigo, as heaven's gate. Azure, like paths That's of fate. fate. How'd you know she was going to say that? I guess I just think like her. Oops, I called my old number. Well, whoever you are, just remember, everything happens for a reason. Bye. Pass of fate. Remember my vision? A wider path? I just thought that meant you got to put on some weight. <laughs> it meant I'm going to be walking with someone, you know, along the path of life. She might be the woman for me. Oh, come on, Mary. The phone company screwed up, that's all. I once got some extra fries at McDonald's. That didn't make me want to marry Mae McCheese. <laughs> I've got to meet this one. And I know just the way to crack the case. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that detective kit you bought from the home shopping network. <laughs> Come on, Marion. I call it that purple who's shredding your newspapers. It was a rabbit, Tonya. <laughs> Bugs is bringing good luck to me and three of my friends right about now. <laughs> Come on. Give me a chance. All right. How would you find her? I think I heard some traffic in the background. So we rent a van, we get some night vision goggles, some hot wings and some Kool-Aid, and have a stakeout. I have a better idea. Star 69. Oh, like that's gonna work. Hello. Ah, Dudley's Flower Shop. Did a woman named Kara just call from there? A customer. Not there now, but she comes in often. Why am I repeating everything you say? <laughs> I'm making a point to the home shopping detective. Go ahead. Ask him if there's traffic outside his shop. <laughs> hey! Come down, Grand, open it! Ouch! My bad! <laughs> What's wrong, Max? As I was walking in the building, some idiot dropped a candy bar on my head. That's me! Did you read the invitation attached to it? No, I'm using it to sop up the blood. It says, come to our grand opening, it'll be sweet. Yeah, well, maybe it should read, come to our grand opening, concussions half off. I'm just trying to advertise the clinic. But why don't you do it like some normal person, like, like posting signs in the street and in the building? Oh, I did. I posted signs everywhere. Well, I just came in. I didn't see any. Somebody tore down my signs? What kind of petty scum would tear down signs? Hello, Stanton. <laughs> Well, well, Bernie the chiropractor. I knew you'd be mixed up in this. Paralyze any patients lately? No, but I'm having my grand opening tomorrow, if you're free. Yeah, I'd sooner have my prostate examined by Captain Hook. <laughs> Did you tear down my signs? I tore them down and ripped them up for confetti for my party. It's tomorrow at five. But that's when ours is. Yes, I know. I saw your flying invitations. You know, nothing says welcome like a head wound. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Maybe next time you'll think before you steal somebody's parking space. <laughs> By the way, Tonya, I don't have a date tomorrow, and I like a woman with a long spine. I like a man who actually has one. So did you find Kara at the flower shop? No. Thought not. <laughs> Which is why I did some checking. Now, if we get a friendly judge, we can get a wiretap for the phone. Tonya. Hang on, judges don't cost that much. Look, they weren't willing to give me a phone number or address, but they were willing to send a message. Test of $50 worth of flowers. Mm. Give me $50, I'll write you some bad poetry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I hope it works for you. It will. We were destined to walk the same path. Kara, your engagement ring is fixed. You can get it any time. Engaged. That path is getting pretty crowded. <laughs> this room is getting pretty crowded. Mary, I'm sorry. I know you think it was your fate, but you don't even know this woman. She could be weird. She could be ugly. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marion Hill. I'm Kara. It is getting pretty crowded up in here. <laughs> Kara, it's nice to finally meet you. Thank you very much for the flowers. Well. You 
couldn't have known I'm allergic to roses. Mm -hmm. That would explain why your friend down at the flower shop was laughing as he took my money. <laughs> Here, I got some messages for you. And some tissue. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I'm sorry about making you listen to my stupid poem. It's okay, I like poetry. You know, you're very cute when you lie. But I'm not lying. Then I guess you're cute all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, you're cute when you're telling the truth. <laughs> my poem is about how our paths are all tied to our fates. By the way, your engagement ring is ready. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, it was nice meeting you, Marion. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let go of my hand? I'm thinking about it. Take your time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. I think I'm going to run an extra three miles tonight. <laughs> Hi, Kara. It's uh, William. I, I think we should call off the engagement. I'll be seeing you at our usual place tomorrow at 6. I'll explain everything then. Sorry. I gotta catch her. Carol! Oh, Max, did you see a woman I with a I pull all the Bernie signs down. Now it's a battle of wits. He's an armadillo and I'm an 18-wheeler with no brakes. <laughs> Max, concentrate. Did you see a woman with a red coat? Yeah, downstairs. She was getting into a car. Did you get a license number? Yeah, and I got a fingerprint and a blood sample. <laughs> and a dental record, too. <laughs> This is all she left. I tried everything to find her, nothing. It's like she never existed. You know there was a case just like this on NYPD Blue. Really? What did they do? I don't know. My microwave popcorn was burning. By the time I put the grease fire out, my eyebrows were missing, my nose hairs were singed. <laughs> Tonya! <laughs> no more your crazy ideas, okay? Oh, well, that's too bad, because I think I see a clue. Are you going to let me know what it is? I thought my ideas were crazy. <laughs> I'm desperate. There's some chalk on this scarf. Tonya, there's no chalk on it. Wait a minute, there is some. Which could only mean one thing. She's a football coach. <laughs> Tonya, this chalk is blue. Sidewalk artist? <laughs> this is pool cue chalk, and there's a pool hall right across the street from the flower shop. I'll see you later. First grade teacher? She's a hopscotch champion. <laughs> she writes the specials on the blackboard at the seafood restaurant. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm looking for someone. You found her, handsome. I regret I have several hundred drinks. Uh, <laughs> no thanks. I'm Marion Hill. I'm looking for someone named Kara. I believe she works here. About yay tall, pretty. She was wearing this. Oh, the poetry chick. Came in here looking for atmosphere. Mono knows her. Hey, Mono! Yo. This guy wants to know how to find your friend Kara. Yeah, she's meeting her boyfriend at a secret place tonight. You know where? Yep. Will you tell me? Nope. <laughs> this is a pool hall. We don't rat on people unless we get paid. Or kissed. Well, I don't have any money, and that kiss thing show ain't happening. <laughs> so... Mono, if I beat you at a game of pool, will you tell me where she's at? Yeah. And what do you want if I lose? Jeep. <laughs> I lose my Jeep? Yep. <laughs> Rack them up. Cool. All right, now, Tiffany, we're at war with Bernie, an evil, malicious chiropractor. Now, we have to make sure that everyone in this building comes to our party, not Bernie's. Now, can you be ruthless? Sure, why not? <laughs> what kind of answer is that? This is war. Show me a game face. Uh. <laughs> Meaner, like a girl stole your boyfriend. Oh, oh come on, like that could happen. <laughs> Stop you! You low-down sneak, you tore down all my signs. You can't prove a thing, you sorry waste of skin. If it's a battle you want, you got it. Fine, we're gonna rip you to shreds. Right, Tiffany? Yeah, what are you looking at? I'm sorry. Don't mouth off at me, I'll kick your butt. As soon as I take off these new shoes. <laughs> Tiffany, I'll, I'll take care of this. Oh, okay. That close, mister. <laughs> Look, Stanton, we're both doctors. Said the Hyundai to the Porsche. <laughs> We're above gutter fighting. I propose a contest. Mano a mano. Winner gets to have his grand opening tonight. The loser pays the bills. 
Bring it on, Bone Bender. Name your game. Poker, golf, or something more on your level, Candyland? How about 